As Larry Bossidy, chairman and CEO of Allied Signal, has said, in the end, we bet on people, not strategy. Highly acclaimed thought leader and visionary, Dr. J.P. Paulu Fry, works with organizations across the globe to optimize the last frontier of competitive advantage, their people. So what is this emotional intelligence then? What is this thing called emotional intelligence? About four years ago, I was doing a program to a similar group in Hawaii, similar to this. You see, Jim, they do their programs like this in Hawaii. I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> and actually, they were, they were generous enough to bring my wife along with me. I just wanted to mention that as well. <laughs> I'm not going to be invited back next year, I can tell. But we're flying over. We arrive in Honolulu at 9 a.m. And the female, uh, we get picked up by a female cab driver. Not so surprising. Beside her was a seven or eight-year-old daughter. Now we, my wife and I, we had a one and three-year-old daughter at the time. And it was obvious to us that we were out of our element as parents when that seven or eight-year-old daughter said, Mommy, where are all the idiots today? You know, we thought we must be overtired or something. But her mom replies, relax, dear. They only come out when your dad is driving. <laughs> and to me, this story illustrates everything about emotional intelligence. How we see the world. Is that someone cutting us off? Are they an idiot? Or maybe they're going to the hospital for an emergency. How we see the world directly impacts our behavior, doesn't it? And our behavior impacts important people around us. A top-rated lecturer at the renowned Kellogg Business School's Executive Education Program, Dr. Paulu Fry is a pioneer in the exciting new field of emotional intelligence. Let me ask you a question. How many thoughts do you think we have a day? This is the interactive part of the program. <laughs> According to research, we have about 60,000 thoughts a day. Actually, a female colleague of mine tells me men only have one thought a day. <laughs> 60,000 times, right? <laughs> People are actually in their own little bubbles of thinking. Every one of us, right now, we're in our little bubbles of thinking. And the high performer among us is the person who can step outside of their bubble, honor it, but out, step outside and tune into what other people are feeling and thinking. You know, we do studies of high performing COs at the US Navy, commanding officers. You know what we find? They don't use command and control. They actually are very good at using emotional intelligence. Step outside, tune into what other people are feeling and thinking, because here's the deal. You can command and control. Think of this with your staff and your team. You can command and control anyone for six or eight months, but at some point they stop listening. They tune out. Dr. Paulu Fry understands what differentiates the high performers from his firsthand experience working with professional athletes, Olympic medalists, as well as senior executives and salespeople from around the world. Author, columnist, and media personality, Dr. Paulu Fry is the co-director of the Institute for Health and Human Potential, a world-leading organization that develops and delivers unique training programs in emotional intelligence. I mean, if I could have you walk away with anything today, it's look at yourself, look at where can I get better. That's what I love about working with Olympic athletes or professional athletes and teams. Is the best athletes are not afraid to say, how can I get better? How can I get better? Where's my edge to be found? You know, I work with the Orlando Magic of the uh, NBA and their coach, Doc Rivers. Whether you're a basketball fan or not, you might know that he was fired. They had a horrible start to the season. Doc Rivers, two years ago, won NBA Coach of the Year. Do you know what Doc Rivers is doing right now? I mean, on top of announcing on ABC every Sunday. You know what else he's doing? He is going and traveling to colleges and other NBA teams and watching practices to pick up what he can to become a better coach. That's what it's all about. Can you be big enough? You know, can you be big enough? And this is what self-awareness is all about. Can you be big enough to say, I'm still here to learn. How can I get better? A leading authority on leadership and performance, last year Dr. Paulu Fry reached audiences in the UK, Greece, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, and Australia with the following presentations. Redefining leadership, what highly effective leaders do. The motivation myth, high performance sales is not driven by motivation, but by managing setbacks effectively. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf 
tools to thrive in turbulent times. But you know what I see in organizations and small teams today more than anything? It's the swallowing of truth. You know, you feel or your staff feels put down, let down, or shut down. And if they don't either have the environment available to step in and speak their truth, or if they're just not feeling strong enough to do it, you're missing something, both on the business edge side and on the people edge side. Good ideas that aren't being articulated because there's fear. But more importantly, if, the, if people start to feel, like if they start to kind of swallow truth, you know what happens? Residue builds up on that relationship and pretty soon you can't work with that person. Do you know if I studied each of you, you and your spouse today, we could predict with 94% accuracy, that's huge predictive validity, 94% accuracy, which of you would still be together in a happy, loving relationship five years from today based on one EQ competency? Do you know what that is? How skillfully we air our grievances. You see, in every relationship you're in, at home, with your team and staff, you're going to have tension. You're going to have complexity. And your ability as a leader of those folks to create what I call a container of safety and inspiration so they can step in and speak their truth to you means that you will decrease the residue and now you'll be able to really innovate, really think of new ideas of how you can serve the people you serve more effectively. JP's powerful keynotes receive critical acclaim. Fantastic. Very leading edge thinking. JP has huge energy and passion. Our leadership team couldn't get enough of him. I could listen to him all day. IBM USA. I do not say this lightly. This was the most powerful keynote I've ever heard. Wow! JP was charged with setting the tone for the rest of the week. He clearly over-delivered. Pfizer, Argentina. Outstanding! The best keynote presentation I've been doing years. Very different than the usual, extremely powerful, yet highly entertaining. It's not often I hear someone who can really put it together. Ernst & Young, Austria. Awesome presentation. This will change my life. Thank you for all of your passion, enthusiasm, and integrity, and for making this our best meeting ever. Merck, USA. You know, it drives me nuts. I work, we work with sales organizations all over the world. And people sometimes don't get it. Research is crystal clear. People buy people, ideas, then product. Not the other way around. I see training that's focused on product, new ideas of doing things, but not people. You are the reason that things will grow in this upcoming year to get to another level. You know, it's all about getting better, getting your skills better. And I'm not even certain you even need better and more skills. You know what to do. It's about, can I stay motivated? Can I really kind of, you know, get to the next level because I'm getting through those, those levels of fear? Dr. Paulu Fry's expertise in the impact of emotions on performance has been sought by many organizations, including the National Hockey League. But let me ask you a question. What do you think drives customer loyalty? Why do you think people stay? Here's the deal. Customers stay because employees are engaged. What do I mean by that? I mean, if you are engaged and committed, if your staff is engaged and committed, then people will get infected by that. You see, because emotions are infectious. People infect each other within 30 seconds, whether they say a word or not. Whether they say a word or not. But you know what I'm talking about. You're at your office, somebody comes in with a black cloud over their head, and you start to think, my gosh, what did I do? They're upset with me. And we start to awfulize. And you see, emotions are infectious. If your staff, and this is a really key point, because it's not just about you, right? It's not just about you and your relationship with that client. It's about what's your team like? Are they feeling like they can really make a difference, that they believe in the value proposition, that they feel good about what's going on in your business? And that's driven by one thing, the relationship between you and them. In large organizations, you know, we see that people don't leave organizations, people leave people. People leave their direct manager. And the relationship between you and your staff is not about IQ, it's not about technical skills, it's about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is capturing the attention of business leaders around the world. 
find out why What Makes a Leader, an article focusing on emotional intelligence, is the most requested reprint in the history of Harvard Business Review. What I'm saying is this is your edge. IQ is concrete after a certain age. You can't improve that. But you know what? It doesn't matter because if you're in the room, you have enough. Because you remember the three-circle diagram, the Venn diagram, IQ, technical skills, EQ? What we know is that you need a certain amount of IQ and technical skills, but just enough to get in the door. Just a threshold capability is what we call it. After that, it's your emotional intelligence that will give you an edge in being able to really you know, work with clients. Consistently, Dr. J.P. Paulu Fry leaves audiences around the world with two things. Actionable steps that move them to the next level and requests to have him back again. He's always the highlight of the meeting, setting the tone for great things to come. To ensure the success of your next event, call the bureau who sent you this video to secure a date in JP's busy schedule.